Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can toggle music. So using this single music button, you can turn on and off a song. So I've got a song, it's called Video Game One, super fancy. And I've got two buttons. One is an off button costume, and the other is the on button costume. Cool, pretty basic. Okay, so for my code, what I wanna do is I want to start with my music off. So I'm gonna say when the green flag is clicked, we're going to switch to the off costume. And I'm going to use a variable to determine whether or not our music is on or off. So we could say is music whoop, looping, question mark, and say okay. And we could have made this for our this sprite only or multiple sprites. And when we set this at the very beginning, we want to say no, our music is not looping. So when we press the green flag, no. Okay, um, another thing that we might want to do is we might want to be able to say, hey, make sure you start at the correct size. Um, we'll need that a little bit later, we'll see why. Okay, so once we have this set up, um, it, this is initializing everything. So it's saying we're switching to the correct costume, we're saying our music is not looping. Now we need to actually make it so that when we click on this button, it's going to start it, um, start the loop. So we're gonna say when the sprite is clicked, we're going to broadcast a message and the message can be called like music loop or start loop, um, either one. And inside of here, when we receive this message that I just called start loop, again, you can call it whatever you want, we're going to do a couple of things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to say, yes, our music is looping. So we're going to set is music looping to yes. And then we're going to forever, forever, loop our music. So we're going to play sound, video game one, until done. So I just talked a lot real quick. Let me explain. When we click on this, now it's gonna broadcast start loop. When it does the start loop, it's going to set the variable right here to yes, because it's looping, and it's going to play the video game song until done. Let's see if that works. Cool, and we press the green flag to reset it. It sets it to off, it says no, that it is not looping. Awesome, so it's working so far. So I wanna make it so that when I press this and then press it again, instead of re-triggering the song, it actually uh, will turn it off. Okay, so we're gonna use a conditional to make it so that we can um, toggle this on and off. So the conditional that we're going to use is the if else block. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, if our music is not looping, no. So if is music looping equals no, then we want to run the code that we were just doing to start our loop. However, if it is looping, we wanna make it stop this code from working. So to do that, we're gonna say else, which is like saying otherwise, we're gonna say stop the other scripts in the sprite, which will stop this from running. And we want to stop all sounds. And one more thing, we want to set this to no, because it's no longer looping. Okay, so if I click this button and it's not looping, so it's no, it's gonna start the loop. However, if I click this button again and it is looping, it'll skip this chunk, it'll go to else, and then it'll stop the other scripts from looping, it'll stop any sounds that's playing, and it'll set it to no. So let's try this. Cool, so I'm able to click this so that it switches between no and yes, and it turns it on and off. That's awesome. Now we wanna be able to switch between our costumes as well, so that way if somebody has it on mute, they could um, see whether or not it was playing the music or not. So in here, we're going to say that once we start the loop, we want to actually set it so that the costume is on, and when we stop the loop, once everything stops, we wanna set it to off. So it's on, off, on, off. All right, so I just added some code in to make this even fancier. So what's going on here? When the sprite is clicked, if the music is not looping, no, it's gonna play a popping sound, so we know that we've clicked on something. It'll start our loop, and then it's gonna set the size to 100%, and it's going to make it get smaller by repeating change size minus two, and we're gonna do that five times, and then it'll switch to on. However, if the music is looping, it's going to stop everything, it's gonna stop the sounds, it's going to set it to no, and then here's the new code. It's going to make the pop sound, so we know that we clicked on a button, 
It's going to repeat five times, changing the size by two, so it makes the button get bigger, and then it's gonna to switch to off. So what this is gonna do, if this is our button, the top part of the code, when you press the button, it's gonna make it look like it presses down, and then the bottom part of the code, when you press it and it's already off, it'll come back up. So check this out. Make it bigger. So, so it's not looping, it's big. It gets small, big, small. So it's like we're pressing the button down, and then we press it again, and it comes back up. Now, let me show you one more thing in here. So if we want to actually start with the music looping, we want to switch our costume to on. We want to say that, is our music looping? And we want to say, yes, it is. And then we simply want to um, call our uh, loop right here, start loop. So we press the green flag and it starts right here. And we can even say, hey, um, make it smaller by starting at 80%. Start, it looks like the button's pressed down. Then when we click again, it gets bigger. So that's how you can toggle music on and off using a single button in Scratch. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.